Welcome to the Fantasy Zone. Get ready.
Oh! I expected a fade out of some sort. It just kind of, just kind of went. There it goes. <laughs> uh, what the fuck just happened to the pre-stream? Let me see here. Bluto to you two, Overlord Devon and Shin underscore Kojin have all resubscribed for seven years in a row. Holy shit, that's a lot of years. Them triple sevens. Thank you all so much. Tron Gang has followed as well. Thank you for the follow, Tron Gang. That's a cursed emote. There's a lot of cursed emotes. That Christmas Welcome one I just saw. Zone. Get ready. Yo, King Blaze, thank you for the follow. Hello, everyone. Uh, what am I doing? I've forgotten how to stream already. So, last stream, we, uh, we, we streamed a little bit of Incredible Crisis. We only got to play some of it because we were a little pressed for time. And I said that, that was the first thing we were going to play today. Whoops, let me make sure this is all mapped correctly. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh. Okay. Yeah, some of the Christmas emotes are... Uh, some of them are better than others. <laughs> ah! Yo, running wild with the three months. Running wild subs shared rewards to five others in chat. Yo, sick. Thank you so much, Running Wild. Uh, yeah, what am I doing? Incredible Crisis, that's what we're doing. Haha, -ha, I remember. I remember now, it's all clear to me. <laughs> we gotta, and then we gotta, we're gonna do one of these moves. And then we, then we hide that, and then we put that over there. Haha, -ha, now I remember. I remember how to stream. I've got no audio, though. Hold on. There it is. <laughs> that PS1 boot up never gets old. What is that block of ice? <laughs> what is that? Uh, welcome back to, uh, Skaland. THRILLS! Oh god. <laughs> Yo, Bonerweed, thank you for the two whole years. Ah! Yo, Death Grips, thank you for the 100 bitums with the big bitums. There's a lot happening at the start of this stream. Thank you all so much. This is, a. Uh, this is all gonna happen in the game, by the way. <laughs> Yo, Wee Luge, thank you for the follow. Julio backwards, perhaps. <laughs> we'll never know. Yeah, Tokyo Ska Paradise. <laughs> that's where we that's what we've just entered, Tokyo Ska Zone. <laughs> Are you still trying to figure out how the uh, ice emote works? Welcome to Incredible Crisis. I can't wait for like we're four hours into the stream. Pluto's <laughs> still trying to figure it out. That's what I want to see. DOG! Is a dog. Is a dog. I don't. Is the best game ever made. I'm pretty sure. I don't know why you guys are here. This is all we're doing for the next five hours. We're just looking at this dog. He's very talented. I support him. Is all we're doing. All right. Just kidding. Let's play the game. some stream juice for this one.
<laughs> Rick Flair's in this game, yeah. I hope you all did a salute right there, because I did. So if people weren't here for the last stream, where we played, uh, at least some of this video game. It's Hatsu's birthday! It's our grandmother's birthday today. Nobody else in the house seems to be aware of it, though. <laughs> home early today. So this game, uh, this game depicts one particularly busy day while everyone's trying to get home for Grandma's birthday party. Everything that happens in this video game takes place in this one day. Time to exercise. <laughs> Taneo dance fever. Time to break it down, chat room. Press, to press buttons and directional buttons as shown. Make a mistake, your skill level goes down. Yo, Lemon Crush? Thank you. Thank you for the thank you for the Twitch Prime. He shared rewards to five others in chat. What a guy. Oh fuck! The double donut as well with the three whole years. Thank you so much. Oh, we're grooving already. Is this what salary men do? Is this what they're actually doing in their cubicles? Oh. <laughs> yeah, I agree, Land Shark. You're not late to anything. You're just in time, in fact. We were just limbering up with a Taneo dance fever. Meanwhile, outside the building... Welcome to the fantasy zone. Get ready. Yo, Fate X Day, thank you for the follow. What a guy. We are in danger. Bowling Inferno! Avoid the iron ball if the distance meter turns red. Run with X button! <gasps> Make sure you have enough energy drink. That is fantastic advice. Let me... Okay. I am now good to go. 
This game cannot be paused. You're not allowed to pause. That's how incredible this crisis is. <laughs> Big fan of every sound Taneo makes in this game. Let's just get hit by every obstacle. I think that's the... That's my current strategy. Alright, there we go. Oh, that's how it's done. Yes, it is Fade Stay. This is, um... This is one of the first, like, mini-game compilation games out there. Yo, what's up, Alfred? We're in the elevator of doom, Alfred. Like, this came out before WarioWare ever did, I'm pretty sure. And, uh, it's, it's very Bishibashi-esque. You win! Gotta stop the elevator before we fucking die. Stakes are high. Yo, easy. <laughs> the easiest game ever. Just kidding, we're not done. Taneo cannot catch a break. <laughs> you win! This bodes well. <laughs> Nerd on a wire! Yeah, one like equals 100 yen to the save to Neo fund. No, he's fine. He's doing okay. We gotta cross to safety. Press and hold X button to move forward to green zone if you lose balance. Recover with directional buttons. Pole will snap when the time is up. Stakes are high. Uh-oh. That's not, that's not how it's done. Uh-oh. No, nobody panic. Nobody panic, it's under control. Everything is- everything's under control. Nobody panic. Uh-oh. Oh, I'm getting the hang of this. Oh, that's too far. Taneo, Taneo, calm down. Okay. Everything's A-OK. -okay. Everything is just fine. Nobody's in any danger. There we go. <laughs> I stuck that landing though. Welcome to the zone. Get ready. Drill stops, no cops. Thank you for the follow. Oh, he's dead. He's just dead now. We did that all for nothing, chat room. You hate to see it happen. How are, uh, how are, how are y'all doing? How are y'all doing today? Hope you had a good week.
be honest with you, I've been been a little down the past couple days. <laughs> but it's fine, we will we'll push through it. We're in an ambulance, though! Answer the questions. Press X for yes and circle for no! Ten correct answers are needed to clear the stage. Two wrong answers in a row will trigger an electric shock. Is the French flag the oldest national flag in the world? Yes! Oh shit, it's not. I got bad news, chat room. I'm an idiot. <laughs> no, basketball is not played with six people per team. Is soccer played by 15 people per team? That sounds wrong. Okay, sick. <laughs> 11, that sounds more correct. What if I got that one wrong, though? <laughs> what if we got that shit wrong? Uh, no. Yo, we're nailing this shit. Oh, God. Woo! I guessed as a hundred percent. Oh, Jesus Christ, what is this? <laughs> Uh, oh, uh, uh, one, two, uh, hold on. Carry the three, hold on. Fuck. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We did it. We're A okay. So we are ejected from the ambulance out into the street. It's time to go by stretcher chat room. Celebratory hands in the air. Ride the stretcher! Use left and right directional buttons to steer! Avoid cars and motorbikes. If you hit construction signs, you'll lose control for a while. You're done when the distance meter reaches zero. Okay. Also, yeah, I, uh, saw what you said, Alfred. Big Sam. <laughs> Very glad that the ska music is back. But, um, yeah, I've been, um, a little upset, I guess. Upset's probably not the right word. <laughs> Oh, fuck, we need to not get hit by traffic. Yeah, so, um, we applied for, we applied for partnership, like, uh, like a month ago. And we finally got word back. We, we, we've been told that while our channel is doing very well, we don't stream consistently enough to warrant a Twitch partnership. They really want me to stream three days a week. That is the lowdown on that situation. Oh, I should look out for the fucking bikes! <laughs> I got juggled! Yeah, they said that they were looking for people that have uh, frequent and consistent stream schedules. That's uh, that's what's going on there. Oh, we need to we need to pay more attention. So that meter on the right side of the screen, if it fills up at any point, we lose a life. Every time we get hit by people, every time we get hit by traffic, it fills up a little bit. That's how you lose in any of these games, is if that meter on the right side fills up all the way. Ah, right, we did it! <laughs> yeah, they've been hitting you with that shit too, right, Alfred? They're very hard to please these days. 
<laughs> Yo, Fanmech with the with the Twitch Prime. Thank you so much. Yo, five more people got emotes. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say that. Taneo, aren't you married? Taneo, you've got two children. <laughs> what are we doing at this Ferris wheel, Taneo? <laughs> You just got here. Oh man, you are in time for just the you're you're in time for the perfect minigame. This minigame will probably be better if everyone in the Welcome chat closes the man, their eyes for the entire duration. Unafraid Zio, thank you for the follow. There's nothing I can say. There's nothing I can say to describe this minigame, so let's just uh Let's just soak it in, shall we? All the way up. All the way up. All the way up, further up. Oh, I'm going. Further left. Mm -hmm. Further left. You got it. Oh, a little up, a little bit up, a little bit up. Oh, just a tiny bit mm, there. Uh, oh, uh, mm, 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 mm. All, all the way down. Are there any questions, chat room? All the way down. Further down. Further down. Are there any questions, though? Oh, a little left. A little bit down. Oh, just a tiny bit. Mm, there. Uh, oh, uh, mm, 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 mm. <laughs> We're gonna get banned, yeah. That's why we didn't make partner. It's because we played this game. That's where we veered. <laughs> oh, there she goes again. She's just dead, boys. No, I'm just kidding. There she is. Look behind you. You'll find a surprise. Oh, shit. It's like the worst date ever. <laughs> Why haven't you heard of this game? Uh, I, I mean, I guess people know about this game. It's popular enough. It's not as obscure as probably some of the things we've played on this stream. But more people could know about it, that's why we're streaming it. <laughs> oh yeah, you already know Mixtv. You shake him off the chopper! <laughs> They're trying to toss him into the ocean. Oh, they just dipped. Meanwhile, there's a UFO <laughs> on the horizon. <laughs> it's time for Independence Bay. Don't let them attack. That's the mother ship. <laughs> So we've just happened to, we just happened to have this giant gun here. We need to protect the UFO, not shoot it down. The UFOs we're protecting here. It's fine, don't worry about it. So these uh all these jets and all these boats are shooting missiles at the UFO. We got to save it. 
<laughs> Yo, Kazu crashed with the seven whole years. I can't believe it. Oh god, what's happening? Bluto has gifted a sub to Paper Box House. Thank you so much. I'm trying my best to save this UFO. Oh, they're shooting at me now! I'm in danger! <laughs> the rate of fire on this thing is very impressive, I must say. You feel like you're too sober for this game? Honestly, same. Well, you already know JJ Smack. That's pretty much all we're doing today. We're playing a bunch of PS1 games. We played a bunch of PS1 games last stream. We're playing out. We're playing a bunch more today. Yeah, we have to protect the giant Simon Says stream. Or a giant Simon Says machine. You can never find this game. Is it, like, super rare? There is, um... There is one rare video game we're playing later on today. It's not very often you see a middle-aged man fall out of the sky. Taneo? Uh-huh, okay. <laughs> Bail water out of the boat, Taneo, you idiot! <laughs> Press X repeatedly to scoop water up with bucket. Press triangle to empty it, avoid falling objects with an umbrella. Understood. Taneo, you fool! You absolute buffoon! Oh god. Oh, he's too heavy. We can't use the umbrella to protect against him. <laughs> there we go. That's the tech. How much water is in this damn boat? <laughs> Oh, I tried it again. Why did I try that a second time? <laughs> yeah. Today I was probably not the brightest. Oh. You don't think today is gonna make it to Grandma's party? It's gonna be close at this rate. Uh oh. Oh, we gotta get this water out. I'm a little, a little tired of mashing. <laughs> I'm starting to feel, starting to feel it in my arm a little bit. Oh, you haven't missed a whole lot, Squeak. You've missed, uh, pretty much everything from the end of the... Everything you... We did everything from the first time we played this game, which was last stream. We're pretty much all caught up. <laughs> hey. Alright, we did it. This game is best played with an arcade stick. Oh, I believe you. We did it. Then Taneo hops on the train and goes home, I, I assume. <laughs> uh -huh. 
He cut the- she cut the brake lines. Oh god. <laughs> Okay, though, he made it. He made it in one piece. <laughs> yeah, Keo, I, uh... That's why we're... We're not playing the... We're not playing the Japanese version of this game. Mostly because... I assume people want the, the sweet lore for this game wherever there happens to be lore. But there are two cut mini-games. That was, um... One of them took place right there on the train. <laughs> Yeah, because of unreadable text. Yo, what's up, Sodius Chubbs? So that's how Taneo's day went. Let's see how, uh... Let's see how it goes for the mother at Suko. <laughs> she immediately walks into a store as a robbery's in progress. Afternoon of the Wolves. Go get to the exit. Press X button repeatedly to move forward. If there are robbers around, step back the triangle. Use the security cameras to detect their location. Be alert when the robber indicator turns yellow. So all you're looking at, really, is the uh, top right corner. You're looking at that screen, and you're seeing if any of the uh, dots turn yellow or red. You don't want to be moving while they're anything but green. Good enough. This is some Sly Cooper-ass music, I must say. Oh god, I don't remember how this one goes. Yo, what's up, Peachuela under underscore two? When is the uh when is the moment? When is the moment to go? That feels like it. That wasn't the moment. <laughs> Let's try that again. So it's mostly that last one. <clears throat> Yeah, she's just dead now. You hate to see it. Ah, shit! Alright. These are some of the harder games, is the, uh... The ones that Etsuko has to do. <laughs> but we do get lives back every time we, um... Every time we complete a chapter, we get a bunch of lives back, so it should be fun. We are back to button mashing, though. I look forward to having arthritis in my 40s. Alright, this is the one we need to... Need to pay attention here. These two people are gonna sync up at some point. And that's when we gotta go. Alright, so the one by the door is red. Oh, we could have went right there. <laughs> I got baited because it turned yellow, but it didn't turn red afterwards, which means that they didn't actually turn around. Okay. So that was the moment then. We just, uh, we just, we got scared. <laughs> we did not go fast enough. 
Oh, you're not allowed to, um... They don't let you... It looks like standing there is not good enough either. Okay. At least we've got this dope-ass, like, Mission Impossible music. So I'm going to wait for that same moment again. <laughs> you wish to succeed as to not disappoint the composer. <laughs> hey. So yeah, we just had to do the same thing as before. Well, shit! <laughs> so Etsuko's uh, been ordered to grab this golden pig from this statue. Or the, from this pedestal. The only way to do that is to place something that weighs the exact same amount on the pedestal. Which means we're gonna have to do some math, boys and girls. I hope you're ready. Yeah, it's it's the Indiana Jones scene. Balance the weights. So they're gonna tell us, uh they're gonna tell us how much weight we need. Sixty-one twenty-seven. Alright. Let's figure out that twenty-seven first. Here's a 44. Here's a 33. What do we got? 6,050. That seems easy enough. All right, here's a 50. That's a. We need 6,000. Okay, that's easy. Where's the Where's the big shit? Yo, 4,000. 2,000. Easy. The catch, of course, being that uh, that number changes every time you do the mini game, so you can't just remember how to do it. Thank you for the extra lives. Yeah, I agree, Bacon Rath. Not enough video games with ska soundtracks. <laughs> oh, she was moving and grooving, I agree. Etsuko SOS! We're still we're still dealing with these robbers. <laughs> Decode the statue's secret message. Atusco and the Golden Pig. They spelled it wrong, but you know what? A for effort. Play a tune. Repeat the robber's tune by pressing circle square and the directional buttons. Taneo <laughs> doesn't deserve Hetsuko. I agree. Oh, ooh, oh, sour, please, though. It's time for more jams.
Whoop. Oh, we're good. So every time we miss a note, the bar fills up a little bit, so we gotta minimize how many we fuck up. Jam it. <laughs> oh, we've unlocked the secret of the golden pig. The ultimate weapon, Benjamin. Oh, they're just dead now. They're just fucking dead. Good. Oh, we're snowboarding, boys. Yes! Oh, we're under attack. <laughs> snowboarding with wolves. <laughs> Yo, Etsuko's gotta put up with way more bullshit than Tadeo did. Alright, let's go. So our objective here is to uh, avoid gunfire because we're being shot at. You want to try to not line up vertically with any of these snowmobiles. Because they've all got guns. The snowboard is also unable to go straight, so you have to keep alternating between left and right to vaguely go straight. Uh-oh. No, stop. No, stop, I beg you. <laughs> yeah, she's gotta deal with this 007 shit. I feel like we're not doing so hot. Maybe we can bring this back, though. Yeah, Tsuko's getting way too old for this shit. We can probably do fine. We can probably... We can probably survive for the rest of this. Yeah, yeah. Yes! <laughs> we immediately crash. Yeah, I agree. New SSX is looking real good. Nobody in this family can catch a break. <laughs> we got... We got no extra lives for that. <laughs> the game was not impressed with our performance. Ska's not dead. We're bringing Ska back live on stream. The enemy from without. Huh? We're now at an aircraft carrier. <laughs> Etsuko's got to cook dinner. Shit! Yeah. It's getting late!
What's gonna come back first? What's what's coming back first, chat room? Ska or disco? What's coming what's coming back first? We gotta fly the fighter. Avoid obstacles with the D-pad! <laughs> Scott Disco, that's the fusion. That's the fusion we need. <laughs> we need to we need to hear the first uh Scott Disco song. That's what I want. So Etsuko, you know, in a hurry to get home for dinner, gotta cook dinner in time. This is how she's choosed to <laughs> handle that situation. <laughs> This reminds me of, uh, oh shit. This reminds me of, uh, F-Zero GX, the bit where, where Jody Summer is in the building and you need to get her out of the building. That's what this most reminds me of. <laughs> what? We need to crash into less things. <laughs> There's so many doors, Alfred. <laughs> Life has many doors, Ed Boy. Oh, we gotta watch out for the other jets as well. Okay. I feel like it's going pretty well. I feel like we're nailing it. I feel like we're absolutely crushing it right now. Oh shit. Maybe we're not crushing it. Okay, we gotta survive for 900 more meters. <laughs> This is the corner of safety right here. <laughs> okay, we did it. Just barely. Still easier than Top Gun on NES, I believe that. I've never actually played Top Gun for the NES. I've just seen the uh, the memes about the plane being hard to land. Number seven come in. A huge monster is heading towards Tokyo. Attack immediately! Tokyo's under attack! Air Wars. Nice logo. Everyone is down. Etsuko is Tokyo's only hope. <laughs> Use D-pad to aim X to launch missiles. We have to shoot missiles at the back of this bear. We have to hit the back of the bear eight times with these missiles. So the plane flies automatically. We just need to line the cursor up. It's a hit. Etsuko's out here doing all the work. She's got to save the entire city before making dinner. Got to save the entire city from this teddy bear crisis. What? Okay, we still got it. <laughs> Just barely. You're not allowed to miss that many passes. Because the timer uh, on the right side is constantly filling. So you need to make sure that um, when you've got a chance to fire that you do. You're not given that many chances to miss. Oh, we've got to hit him in the back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly, Tepid Snake. This takes this mission takes place at night, so this would be during all the nighttime shit that Taneo was doing. The Ferris wheel, the uh the boat. <laughs> it's 
stakes seem a bit higher on one end than the other. <laughs> Tokyo saved. Yeah, Taneo had it pretty easy, right? <laughs> it's time to start dinner. We're not going to question how Etsuko knows how to fly a plane. <laughs> Tonight's menu is sukiyaki. Yes! <laughs> it's Grandma's favorite. <laughs> A... Why was a C rank good enough that time to get an extra life, but not the other time? Yeah, there's no buffalo horn today. We had to we had to weigh it down. We had to use the buffalo horn to weigh down a pedestal so that the alarms didn't go off. <laughs> yeah, it's the end of the uh, Etsuko story. What else is going on in this crazy family? Story of Suyoshi, Chapter 1. Honey, we shrunk incredible Christ. Oh god. <laughs> I think Suyoshi's in danger. King of the Hill. <laughs> yeah, it kicked him in the dick. That was the rudest shit I've ever seen. Climb up with X button while the meter is changing color. Avoid mudslides. So you, this is a game where you're not allowed to mash the button, you have to press it at a very specific, uh... You, every time the thing goes by the middle of the screen, you have to press the button. Yo, Ray Smash, thank you for the host! Of course, the problem is, there's all these landslides. To try to knock you back down into the hole where the fucking ant lion is. How's it going? Oh, it's going. Can we see the kid die? Do you want to see the kid die, honestly? That seems terrible. You're a terrible person. I can't believe you'd say such a thing live on stream. <laughs> Uh-oh. Yo, Tepid Snake, thank you for the 100 bits. Here's some bits so Etsuko can buy herself a strong drink. Yeah, I agree. She's definitely earned it. <laughs> oh, you wanna... Oh, hold on. Alright, fine. Alright. Two, uh, two of our moderators want to see the child die because they're terrible people. So let's see the child die, shall we? Wow, it's actually hard to lose on purpose here. I think we have to think we have to go forward enough so that it triggers another landslide. <laughs> I know Krobus not even one of them. That's the surprising part. There we go. Yo, Electric Boomerang, thank you for the host. Oh, he's just fucking dead now. He's just- he's just dead now. <laughs> Yo, 
Yeah, chat, you killed a child. Amazing! Mission complete. <laughs> that right there is why you're the best, chat. Oh, let's actually escape the uh, ant lion this time. <laughs> Killing children ain't easy. I mean, who among us hasn't killed a child? Yeah, and we did it. Oh. Oh, Suyoshi, that's not the right place to climb. Mm. Kiss of the Spider-Man. Not Spider-Man, but Spider-Man. Escape from the spider's web. To move forward, press and hold X until the meter reaches the green zone. Be aware of the meter disappearing at a set point. So... We have to land this, uh, we have to land this meter in the green zone. But it disappears, like, halfway through, so we don't actually know where it is on the bar. <laughs> and that green zone gets smaller and smaller, too. Oh, it's already smaller. Okay. <laughs> yeah, he's an emissary from hell. Oh, we're crushing it. Oh, no. Yes! How do I do that? <laughs> Yo. Oh, God. <laughs> well, it's been fun, Chad. It's been real. <laughs> I don't know about this one. All right, check this shit out. Here we go. Fuck! <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, we've awoken the spider. Oh, we need to get the- we need to get the hell out of here. Okay. Let's try that again. Fuck! Oh, it goes so slow. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, I don't know about this one, chat room. No, it's fine, though. Nobody panic. Oh, I guess we did it. I guess we made enough forward progress that we didn't actually need to fill that one up. <laughs> Good. <laughs> we weren't about to land that shit anytime soon. <laughs> that spider's terrifying. Yeah, I agree. I'm a little... I'm a little afraid of spiders, I'm not gonna lie to you. Yeah, shout outs to Tokyo Ska Paradise. Return from the backyard. <laughs> when spider. Bluto keeps asking for spider. We're gonna have to play Spider, the PS1 game at some point. Titanic away again! Guess who's back? <laughs> it's not every day you see a kid falling out of the sky. <laughs> this guy's had a busy day. Tsuyoshi, you fool! You absolute buffoon! We're back again! Yo, what's up, Super Saiyan Jacob? I'm doing, I'm doing pretty good. So not only... Ah, shit. <laughs> so before, um... And this must have been before the he, he did the bit with Taneo. So earlier in the day, this boat dude got hit with the shrink ray, and I guess he got unshrunk 
And then he did the exact same thing with Teneo <laughs> later in the day. People just keep pulling the uh, the cork out of the out of the boat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nobody respects that struggle. Uh oh. What? Why are there bones in the water? Yo, Geki Zenbu, what's up? Oh, what a combo! Oh my god, the Lynx! You gotta be honest. Gotta be honest, I prefer my water boneless chat room. You know, some people disagree. Some people prefer to keep the bone on. On their water, when they drink it. I don't know, not a big fan of that. Oh, there was two. I should have been paying attention! Woo! Got that water out, though. Okay. <laughs>He's dead. Mantis Park. Oh, Suyoshi, you had a good run. Get away from the Mantis. If the meter turns red, run with X button. Make sure you have enough milk. <gasps> I don't have any milk, chat room. So this is basically the first game with Taneo. You're just running. <laughs> You're just running from the Mantis. That pre-rendered uh, cutscene back there, though... With the with the mantis running, it looks fantastic. Alright, let's uh let's get hit by every single frog, I suppose. <laughs> At least we get to watch that mantis cutscene again from uh from that first angle. <laughs> yeah, I know he got bisected. You hate to see it happen. Yes, we are, Jeepo. Okay, so some of them, some of them jump up so that you can't jump, and some of them, uh, some of them stay there so you have to jump over them. But it's not clear which one they're gonna do. You kind of have to guess. That's fine. It's fine. We just gotta make some reads. Dodge Mantis better, you got it. We need to uh we need to not be mashing the button the entire time as well. You only have to you only have to press the button when the meter turns red. If you if you mash it, you're just going to you're gonna run out of milk and then you're fucked. Uh oh. Okay. That's the plan. That's the strat. Just hit every single uh Hit every single frog and still get out okay, I suppose, is the plan. <laughs> we did it. I feel like I earned that. We just kind of stumbled through it. Yeah, we're friends with the ant that kicked us in the dick. Oh no, what is happening? Yeah, what a bro. Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> Good. <laughs> Grandma's hallucinating again. <laughs> It's Ririka's day off. Ririka? That sounds correct. Meanwhile. Meanwhile, in high school, it's Taneo's daughter. Oh, something's on sale! <laughs> Teachers throwing shock at people. <laughs> the tense teacher. So something is on sale at the store, so we gotta sneak out of the classroom. Move the kids around to reach the goal. Choose a kid with directional buttons and press X to decide. <gasps> Don't get hit by the flying chalk. <laughs> Game is over if we get hit. All right, so we need to we need to shimmy the children over. Hold on. We got to shimmy the yeah, it's a sliding puzzle. <laughs> we we shimmy all the kids over so that we can get to the bottom right seat. But we need to make sure that we are not the ones that get hit with the chalk. Kid, I need you to wake up! Wake the fuck up, kid! Thank you. Oh no, now you're sleeping. <laughs> yeah, you snooze, you lose. <laughs> he has to erase some of what he wrote. Oh, he's just starting the whole thing over. This is a, this is a long lecture. Oh, he's checking. Woo! Oh, that kid's dead. <laughs> oh, that was a close one. We just need to move over one more seat. Oh, God! No, stop looking. Okay. <laughs> Yo, Julani, thank you for the five whole... Uh, thank you for the four whole years. Five shared emotes. What a guy. She got onto the train. She looks familiar. Excuse me, miss, you dropped your wolf mask. <laughs> what a beautiful lady. I sure hope she's not up to anything nefarious at the bank or something. The goods must be crazy. Get the sale items. <laughs> Pauline, you can't just be dropping stuff, yeah. So the game is going to tell us what's on sale. Summer Lips Cherry. All this game is is you're uh, you're just looking for the thing. We're just looking for Summer Lips Cherry. You're just digging through menus to find the thing. I think you've got a time limit, and that's like the gimmick here is you do it before the sale is over. But it's not clear what that time limit is exactly. So you're just kind of scrolling through menus for this mini game. Lip gloss pineapple, okay. That's yeah, tactical sales action. I think I've scrolled the wrong way. We're, 
first pineapple. There it is. We can see the meter starting to fill up in the corner, so... We probably have to step on it. Lotion, oily skin, okay. Where's this? Where's the oily skin lotion? Wait, wait, yes. Body wash, floral. Floral body wash, it's very important. Okay. <laughs> yeah, she's having a very lax day compared to everyone else. Nah, that shit was on sale, though. It's very important. That shit was 99 cents. It's probably harder in Japanese. That, I, I, I definitely believe that. Everything probably looks exactly the same, except for, like, uh, one character. <laughs> Yeah, if that's if that if that many games written in kanji, I imagine that'd be a huge problem. Shiba, you crazy panic. Take a photo with teddy bear machine. Oh, that's where the shrink ray came from. Ah, that's how that happened. <laughs> and then the little UFO just dips. I think that was the other cut minigame right there, that singing minigame. I think they took that out because they didn't want to dub it over in English. A huge UFO appeared over the Tokyo Bay this evening. <laughs> Someone's on the missile battery by the shore. Oh, that wacky Japanese salary man. What could he be up to? <laughs> why is why is our dad over there on the gun battery shooting at uh, jets and such? <laughs> if you don't do it, I'll never clean my room again. Stakes were higher than we thought on that on that mini game. So now we're playing Simon Says. We, uh... We have to help this tiny UFO communicate with the mothership by following the lights. It's time to... It's time to play Simon Says chat room. Hope you're prepared. Triangle. It just goes by PlayStation button colors. <laughs> this has got to be better than the, uh, Bubsy 3D Simon Says that, like, don't work properly. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that shit. Square, circle, triangle. Yo, this game's easy. This game's for babies. Yeah, the Bubsy 3D stream was, uh... Oh, it was something. Eh, 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 eh. Eh. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I think it is. <laughs> I think it's supposed to be that. Oh, 
Oh, I didn't really get to see that one. It was a little fuzzy. Oh, you're going to make me guess on this last one. <laughs> Circle again. Oh, how did I do it? We just guessed. <laughs> I think I got that one. I think that was, uh... Do, 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 do. Eh, eh. Eh. Okay. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's fast! Okay. Oh god, what the hell was it? Do 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 do. Eh. Eh. Uh oh. Yes! <laughs> Simon says God! Yo, what's up, doggy sandwich? Yo, wasn't even worried. Except literally every single... Every single round of that. <laughs> doing okay. I'm, I'm doing okay, doggy sandwich. Doing better than I was uh, yesterday. Feel a lot better on stream now that we're streaming. Not gonna lie. <laughs> Chapter 3, There's No Place Home. We're not quite home, actually. Oh, no. Oh, no! Yeah, let's get on the boat! Ah, shit, here we go again. <laughs> Titanic away, one more time, honest. Oh, it's not every day that I have a pretty girl on my boat. Don't you do it. Don't you dare do it. Don't do it, woman. Don't you... Bail water out of the boat. <laughs> This poor, this poor fisherman right here cannot catch a break. <laughs> Imagine if they changed the controls every time. That would be fucked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Oh, why do I try to block that? You can block everything except him. Not the pie pans! What is it with Japanese games and pie pans? I know that Snowboard Kids has the pie pans as like the best item in the game. <laughs> Yush! 
Uh-oh. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> Neither of those, but I like pie pants the most. <laughs> Alright, good enough. Oh, it's like falling pianos, that's fair enough. Oh, that's how he gets shrunk. But how does he get unshrunk? How does Suyoshi get unshrunk? It's not clear. She left the scene of a crime. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> yeah, Pauline is back. Escape the killer crane. Press X and triangle alternately to go forward. Ah, good. More mashing. Game over if you get run over by the crane. Okay. Time to mash some more chat room. We're mashing for our lives. Uh oh. Yeah, I think it's reasonable. You die if you get run over by the uh, crane. That's that's the most believable death condition so far. I'd love to mash faster, but there's just I, I can't be bothered. <laughs> that boat game they got me three times with that boat game. We're, we're fresh out of mashing power. Uh oh. Oh, you need to get over there. This is a multitasking we've gotta do. <laughs> yeah, I know, it's a hell of a crane. Uh, here. Yes! You get all the way over there. Yeah. Oh, we only got a little bit more to go. Oh, it's not good. Oh, it's not good. Oh, girl, you better speed back up. Game is tiring. <laughs> oh, they're just dead now. They drowned. The evil is defeated. Yeah, we helped E.T. phone home. We got to do a cool, we got to do a cool E.T. homage. If 
you were grandma, which family member would get disowned first from the will? Uh, probably Taneo. <laughs> It'd have to be today, oh. I think we're done, though, yeah? I don't remember if there was any more after the crane. Yeah, everybody, everybody made it home in time for the party. Dog murders the camera. Is it a good thing or a bad thing that we can't hear these vocals right now? <laughs> I think my question's been answered. <laughs> hey, Pauline's alive! Ah, I see. <laughs> She's gonna have to answer some trivia questions. Oh, the UFO returns everything to normal size. <laughs> the entire family is war criminals. Did Atsuko ever, uh... <laughs> did Atsuko ever give back that jet fighter that she stole? I don't think she gave that jet fighter back. Yo, any time fades, day. How does it feel to have become a ska itself? I don't know. I don't know. But here I am, doing everything I can. Big fan of this game. <laughs> if I don't say it's been real, I will unfriend you. <laughs> Hope I stream more. I stream every Monday and Friday. Every Monday, Friday, 2 p.m. EST. That's a strange uh, section of that photograph you've decided to have, Paul Sate. That's probably fine. I I'm not gonna question that if, if nobody else will in chat. That's probably... It's probably fine. That was the exact moment you tuned in. In that case, the entire stream was like that. That, that was the entire game, it was just like that. Can we talk about Ant, bro? Yo, that Ant... Are we supposed to... I mean, are we supposed to feel like that was such a bro? Are we supposed to feel like that was really Ant, bro, after he kicked Suyoshi in the dick? He just he just stepped right on his dick. <laughs> I 
Interplay team. Interplay couldn't have possibly had anything to do with this. Did Interplay publish this or something? That can't be real. Why did that say Interplay? <laughs> They may have published in Europe. That might be it. That's like the last name I expected to see in the credits. Oh, but that giant globe from the beginning is still out there. To be continued in The Incredible Crisis 2, presumably. Unfortunately, I don't think a second one was made. Can't really... Can't really set up a cliffhanger and then not actually make a sequel. <laughs> That's not great. They were ambitious, though. They, sh they shot their shot. <laughs> I suppose... That is all we can say about that. Yeah, 10 out of 10 game, though. The Incredible Incredible Crisis is pretty... It's a very underrated game. Very fun, very wacky. Very difficult, also, and my, my, my right arm is on fire, but that's fine. We're gonna, we're gonna push on. <laughs> we, need to, we need to change this from D-pad to analog stick. Because we're about to check out a fighting game. Ooh, hot damn. While we're on our PS1 kick, how about we check out... How about we check out a fighting game franchise that made its debut exclusively on the PlayStation and is still going strong today? Of course, we are talking about... Guilty Gear. Let's play Guilty Gear 1, chat room. Guilty Gear 1's pretty jank! Guilty Gear 1 is very jank. It's very, it's very jank. <laughs> Guilty Gear is as good as it gets. A good quote from, uh, videogames.com. <laughs> oh, I gotta change my title. Hold on. Yeah, that's pretty much how I fail as well, Sega Zoom. This game is the best kind of hot garbage I've ever seen. This is the... It's the it, it's got the least balance I've ever seen in a fighting game. And yet, it's the greatest game ever made. It's just it's just the best. I suppose the first thing we should do is go to uh training mode and show off why this game is busted. Yes, we are, Kazu. That's the first thing we're going to do probably. Guilty Gear 1's got a good aesthetic, though. Ooh. Team Neo Blood. 1998 Arc System Works. Arc System Works was still pretty young at the time, I think. They hadn't... I don't think they had worked on that much prior to this. They published some shit. No, Atlas only published this game. <laughs> it was still Arxis who uh, developed it. Alright, let's go to training mode real quick. Let's show why this game's busted as fuck. Oh, convenient. It went straight to Chip, the only Guilty Gear character I know how to play anyway. How convenient. Oh, heaven or hell, let's rock. So, there's a few reasons this game is uh, a busted as all hell. First and foremost, this game's got a charge system. Every character in the game 
has a chargeable a special move. Why is Chip doing that? That's just his idle stance in this game. If you, uh... If you do... I think it's... I don't know if it's the same input for every character, but everybody's got a chargeable move with the uh, R1 button, I think. And that special move can be charged up to level 3, and it gets better. So this is Beta Blade normally, you know. But if you charge it up to level 3... Does a lot more hits, a lot more damage, and such. The point is, and I don't know if Arxis thought this through, but buttons are cancelable into the charge. And the charge only needs to be out for a couple frames. So what I'm getting at here is, uh... You know... <laughs> there's uh there's nothing stopping you from just kind of doing this forever absolutely nothing stopping you from doing that what else is uh there's also the, uh, the instant kill system is a little different as well. So, in Arc System games now, I'm pretty sure that you can only do insta-kills when it's, like, the last round or whatever. Or they have to be, like, low on health. No such thing in this game. Everybody in this game, if you press punch and kick at the same time, you get this unique normal that you can't do any other way. If you land this normal, the screen turns red and you enter the uh, insta-kill mashing contest. <laughs> so you do this, and then you um, you do quarter circle forward and slash, I think. And I think after you do that, you and the opponent uh, mash. Yeah, it's X and square together. Are you ready? So you do the input, and then the other person tries to mash out of it. The point is, you can do this in the first round of any match. <laughs> And if you land it, you, you just win both rounds. <laughs> it's fucking silly. Yeah. So that's a thing. Also worth mentioning, Beta Blade is an infinite with itself. There's nothing stopping you from uh, doing this. Except that they get dizzy, I suppose. Hold on. Let's get a new life bar real quick. <laughs> yeah, sometimes the uh, sometimes they mash out of it. But there's nothing stopping Chip from uh, from doing Beta Blade into Beta Blade forever, except your execution, I suppose. <laughs> okay. And then lastly, I suppose we need to show off one little bit of jank because I only remember I only really remember one. One piece of jank with this. We're gonna need... Gonna need your boy, Zato. I prefer to call him Eddie, but... You know, whatever. <laughs> he is solid, infinite, stacking, dragon install, yeah. Yeah, Eddie is his buddy. Well, in some of the, uh... In some of the Guilty Gear games, he was just called, like, Eddie on the character select screen. They can't seem to decide whether to put Eddie or Zato there. <laughs> yeah, Axel's fucking ripped. The reason we picked Axel as our training dummy is because he's very wide, and we, we kind of need that. So if you press down, down, and slash with uh, Zato, you get this drill. What we're going to try to do here is put the drill very slightly behind Axel so that it doesn't touch him. Is there a pretty specific spot we need to place this drill? Yeah, something like that. And then after we do that, we have to grab him. And we need to grab him in such a way that he touches that drill during the grab animation. Like that. So, 
when he hits the drill during the throw, it doesn't make the throw perform any different. It doesn't do any more damage or it doesn't act any any different. However, as soon as Axel touches that drill during the throw, the throw becomes special cancelable. And if we do a special move during that throw... And he's just kind of... He's just kind of like that now. So, so we're stuck here forever. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's... I suppose we should, like, run through an arcade mode. Or something. <laughs> we, we, had to, we had to get some stuff out of the way. Alright, let's pick Chip. Yeah, at least until time over. It'd be hard to set up in an actual match, though. Look at this cast of characters. We've got ten whole characters. Man, the roster used to be small as fuck. Yeah, this game's got Cliff in it! It's also got Dr. Baldhead. Yo, what's up, Punky? Remember when uh, Faust was Dr. Baldhead? I remember. Oh, Kai does not have that many frames in this game. <laughs> Cliff! Oh, I miss Cliff. Bring back Cliff, you cowards. You won't. All right, anyway. <laughs> yeah, I know Cliff's dead. When has death ever stopped a fighting game character from coming back? <laughs> Oh, how dare you! No, please, I beg you. <laughs> what is that jungle? Okay. So if you press, uh, if you press slash and heavy slash together, that's how you get dust in this game. And if you land a dust in this game, <laughs> they just kind of spin out up there for a while. I almost got insta-killed. That was terrifying. Okay. <laughs> I actually don't know the proper way to do uh, dust combos in this game. It's very jank. Hold the fuck up. Geese cube fits in the ice cube? It doesn't show up right on my layout, but I see it properly in Twitch chat. That's cursed. <laughs> That's super cursed. <laughs> oh, mate. So, obviously, this video game went on to spawn an entire, very lengthy, very lengthy series of fighting games. <laughs> but I don't think, I don't think they ever got as jank as this one did ever again. This, uh, this game is, this game is a lawless wasteland. <laughs> you can do whatever the fuck you want and it all works. And yeah, there was no burst in this game. There was no burst. So you get stuck in this shit, you're just done. Why do I play characters that hurt my hands? <laughs> One of these days I'm gonna learn and play a button, uh, play a character that gets to do less. 
I'm always a shithead who plays characters that <laughs> require you to press every button on the planet Earth. Ooh. Oh, thanks for coming. <laughs> yeah, while the life bar is flashing, you've got infinite supers! Yeah, Gunflame went full screen. What, you smoke? That's why you lost, idiot. Yo, Jelani, with the five whole years. No, no, they've gifted five whole subs in the channel. They gifted a sub to Skella Harpy. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, what a guy, that Jelani. Oh, what was that, Axel? No, stop, I beg you. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Chip's air dash is fucking, like, full screen in this game. It looks really weird. Yeah, March of the Wicked King. This game's got some theme songs that they never went back to. Like, Potemkin's got a unique theme that they never used again. No, I'm just gonna kick him. I'm just gonna kick him in the toes until he dies. <laughs> Chip's lore said he was a former crackhead, yeah. Who's the, uh, who's the bigger weeb, though? Is it Chip? Or is it Geese Howard? Who's a, who's a bigger weeb? We'll never know. Galford? Yeah, that's true. I failed to consider Galford. Yeah, and obviously you've got Sodom from a Street Fighter. From a Final Fight, rather. Cliff, my boy! I miss Cliff. He's so short, though. We can't do regular combos on him. <laughs> he's tall, uh, he's short enough that our jab just whiffs. <laughs> We we cannot jab him. He's too sh he's too short. That crossed me up. Excuse me. Ah! No, where's my super? Thank you. What's happening? Uh, Guilty Gear 1 is happening. Guilty Gear 1 is what I would describe as a, uh, as an open-world fighting game. <laughs> no, I want to kick him in the... No, hold on, though. No. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Guilty Gear 1. Just do whatever you want. <laughs> you have some kind of death wish, old man. Somebody earlier said that, uh... Said that Chip's portrait looks like... Like a mugshot. I definitely see it. Potemkin's face, though. <laughs> Potemkin's fucking face. <laughs> Oh, that was one button. That hurts. No, please, I beg you. Ah! Oh, we're dead. He took a. Uh, he took both rounds with that. <laughs> Yeah, welcome to welcome to Guilty Gear One, where you can just lose both rounds in an instant. 
Now it's only fair if I instant kill you. Oh, that's right. We can't really do it. Once you get far enough into the arcade mode, they don't really let you insta kill them. Oh, no. That's a really cool effect on that. Holy <laughs> shit. Yo, why am I playing with my food? Yeah, Biken's a hidden boss. Chips just straight up infinite you in this one? I mean, pretty much everybody does. That's, that's the whole game, really. Every... I don't know if Potemkin can, but pretty much every character in the game can do what I'm currently doing. It's one of the most busted games ever made. Uh-oh. <laughs> we were stuck doing kicks in the wrong direction. But what if I just... Hear me out, though. What if I just... This game's great. This game's amazing, chat room. <laughs> I have a million dollar idea. How about we make it so Beta Blade combos into itself? That's what I want. <laughs> Dr. Bald Man! Dr. Bald Head! <laughs> He's got a good-ass theme song, though. Whoop! As Chip goes to the moon. Hey, what a hitbox. Hear me out, though. Oh, you're gonna give me this insta-kill. You're gonna give me this insta-kill. Give me what I want! <laughs> <laughs> We're not getting this insta-kill. He has decided he doesn't want to be insta-killed. That's fair enough. Oh, what is this weird hurt box? You know what? Fair enough. Oh, he just stopped blocking in the middle there. Yo, thanks for coming out to the stream, VST. You're a doctor, maybe you should check your head. Maybe you should put your head in, like, a paper bag of some sort. And become, like, a weird fan-favorite character somehow. But that would never happen. Hey, a dizzy. <laughs> hey, another one. 
This game's great. It's very rude, sir. Gotta practice this game's bullshit again. It's really fun, to be honest. Like, just like learning how to do the uh, charge cancel nonsense is really, it's really satisfying to do. Oh, we're dizzy. Shit. It is odd, though, how this game was exclusive to the PlayStation when so many later Guilty Gears had, like, a like an arcade release. You would have imagined that the series started on arcades, but I don't think this game ever did. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was just out for the PS1, which is very strange. And then Guilty Gear X and onwards, there was always, like, an arcade release. Yo, Milia! <laughs> That's true. If this, played, if, this, if this game played like this on arcades, nobody would ever use the arcade machine. Be careful of her instant kills? All right. I have a plan. Uh oh. No, give me what I want, Melia. Melia? Melia, please, I beg you. Yes! Well, there she goes. Big fan of being able to, uh,. <laughs> a big fan of being able to do an insta kill round one at 99. <laughs> 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 Oh, that almost got me. Hey. Yeah, there's probably a Mikado tournament for Guilty Gear 1. What is the super jump physics in this game? Whoa! Where's the gravity? Uh-oh. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> you know what? Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> There's only one way to there's only one way to beat cheap AI. And that's to get even cheaper. You wanna go cheap, I'll go cheap. Is what you gotta do, because they're doing it too. Uh-oh. He read that jump from a mile away. He was like, nah. Nah. <laughs> oh, I thought I dizzied him. Now I dizzied him. 
Oh, wow. He's... We don't really have dizzies anymore. They're mashing out of these dizzies hella fast. Yeah, I agree, the opponent. If the AI in a fighting game starts to get cheap, that's all you gotta do. Just go cheap with him. Uh-oh. <laughs> Yo, he insta-killed out of blocks done. <laughs> he was like, I'm done blocking now. It's your time to die. <laughs> Yo, what was that full screen DP? Uh oh. Everybody's going for insta kills. Who's gonna land one first? Oh, I guess it doesn't matter. Why would it OTG? That is the question. No, it's fine, though. Don't worry about it. Yo, Zarp, miss. Thank you for the follow. <laughs> Uh-oh. That's a big fireball. Gamma Blade hit him on the way back, excuse me? I didn't know Gamma Blade can hit on the way back. That's amazing! By all means, I've won the tournament, but it looks like the game is not over yet. Fuck, Testament's cool! I miss Testament too, not gonna lie. Yeah, Justice goes all the way back to Guilty Gear 1. We might see Justice, wouldn't that be something? <laughs> I have a plan. <laughs> I was hoping that would work. <laughs> what if that worked, though? Yo, what's up, GVG? Yeah, welcome to uh, some kind of Guilty Gear. Welcome to the jank shit. We are, we are, we are poisoned. That's not good. Okay. <laughs> Hear me out though. <laughs> I tried to run in beta blade at 99. <laughs> Nah. How are these charge cancels treating me? My hands hurt, thanks for asking. It's fun though. <laughs> Oh, 
Why can I still feel Justice's life force? This game's portraits are so good. <laughs> I love how they all look. So cool! They spared no expense animating this cutscene. <laughs> If this shit works, it's going to be funny as fuck. No, but what if it works, though? Oh, they didn't give it to me. <laughs> They're not going to give me this insta kill. Uh oh, oh, we got to do this the hard way. Everything's fine. Nobody panic. Oh, ooh, ow, my bones. Yeah, that seems correct. That seems about right. That went about... That went about how we can reasonably expect it to go. Let's try that again. <laughs> oh, it's time to get cheap. Let's get cheap. We have to land a hit first, though. Uh oh. Oh <laughs> god, the chip damage. <laughs> you know what we should have did? We probably just should have supered. See if we can super through that. Good combo. Oh, is that air unblockable? That's a problem. Yes. Oh, no, that's not good. Justice said, fuck that super. Justice was like, now I'm done being super, and I think I'll go for the insta-kill now. <laughs> what if, though? What if, chat room? Uh oh, we dropped it. What if this was all we had to do? Oh no! <laughs> we went for the super on the dizzy, but Justice doesn't get dizzy. No, stop, I beg you. This game's great. <laughs> so yeah, if anybody out there hadn't seen uh, Guilty Gear, the original, before, 
10 out of 10. It's the best game ever made. And if they've never played it before, definitely go play it and check out uh, all the goofy guard, uh, all the goofy charge cancel bullshit you can do. <laughs> this is one of the most busted fighting games ever made. As Chip stared at Justice's pitiful corpse, he gradually came to a realization. He hadn't changed at all. He was just as reckless as he had been during his Mafia days. He'd simply traded one vice for another. Crime for revenge. <laughs> yeah, it said his for some reason. Did they- were they not aware yet that Justice was female? They didn't know yet. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Your character voices. Dice K voicing Soul Bad Guy. He doesn't voice Saul anymore, does he? I think they got somebody else doing Saul these days. Yo, any time, Kazu Crash. We'll have to get to the, uh, we'll have to get to some of the later Guilty Gears as well. I'm definitely, uh, I'm definitely worse at the, at the other ones. <laughs> but it might just be because this game is busted to all hell and you can basically win as, as soon as you get the, uh, <laughs> the charged loops going. But yeah, uh, maybe we'll check out some other Guilty Gears some other time. The only character I'm any kind of good with is Chip, that's the problem. Just play jam and press buttons? Yeah, you're right. Well, if I wanted jam advice, I would have to ask GVG. Certainly. Please not Dust Strikers. What are you talking about? We have to play Dust Strikers eventually. Dude, Dust Strikers is the best one. What are you talking about? Game's amazing. For all the wrong reasons, certainly. But it's amazing. Waiting for the Guilty Gear Petite stream. I got you. We're going to do a full Wonder Swan Welcome stream. Get ready. Yo, Slan! Slan, perhaps. Thank you for the follow. Who is Slan? Welcome to the Fantasy Zone. Get ready. Yo, MBA Mbarrow. Thank you for the follow. I had it right the first time. Now you gotta unfollow. You know what? That's completely fair. Thanks for coming. <laughs> Yeah, Guilty Gear Judgment. Tell you, I got a... That reminds me, I actually have a stream planned sort of soon-ish. I don't know when it's going to happen, but... What we're going to do... Because GVG reminded me of a Guilty Gear Judgment. We're going to do a stream so sort of soon-ish where we check out non-fighting game spin-offs of fighting games. So we're going to do Guilty Gear Judgment that day. We're going to do... Uh, we're going to check out the Sam Show RPG briefly. At least some of it. We'll check out uh, Street Fighter 2010 <laughs> and some other some other not fighting game fighting game spin-offs. <laughs> What's that Nina from Tekken game? You talk about death by degrees? Um I don't know about death by degrees. I feel like that would have to be the whole stream though cuz that game's got on a, it's on the longer side. Yo, you planned on streaming Judgment tonight? Good shit. I'm down for that.
Was there a KOF RPG? Welcome I think so. Get ready. Yo, Thorin, thank you for the follow. Alright, what are we doing? Are we... How about we... Tell you what, let's run that with a... Uh... Is there a special requirement for getting the bike and fight? Or is it just, like, after everybody else? Do you have to, like, play well? Is there a, is there a special condition? Because we could just run through a... Uh... We could just run through Saul's game. We have to not continue? Okay. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> we'll tell you what, let's run through Saul's game anyway. And if we get the bike and fight, I guess we'll get it. And if we don't, we'll, we'll not. But he is the main character, we should probably check it out. Just in case people wanted to see the sweet lore origins of this character. I'm not sweating it too much, though. <laughs> Oh, how do I play salt? Oh, that's how. No, what if though? Hear me out. Hear me out, chat room. What if? Chat room, I've got a plan. This is how you play this character, right? I know a few Soul players, and this is this is how you play this character, right? I'm pretty sure. I'm like a hundred percent sure this is how you play this character. Are all doctors this crazy? Yeah, pretty much. Not enough Fafnir. I don't think is that is, I don't think Fafnir is in this game. I don't think his uh I don't think his command grabs in this game either. <laughs> Everybody's missing some moves. Not enough install you right. Hold on. Wait, what was it? I think it's a... Uh, I think it's double quarter circle backwards with slash? Yeah, he's not a grappler in this game. You hate to see it. Welcome to the, uh, welcome to I don't actually know how to play Saul Bad Guy show. But I do know how to do Volcanic Viper. <laughs> yes! Another one! <laughs> yeah, I believe you're correct, uh, GVG. I don't think he has any more special moves other than those. I'm actually fighting a woman? Why would you ask this after the fight? That seems like... Seems like bad timing. He's also got the, um... Riot Stamp is the, the kick off the wall, yeah? He's got a weird version of it that he can do while running. <laughs> let, me, uh, let me create some space. If you press the kick button while running in this game... He does the uh, Riot Stamp kick. It's like a weird version of it that you can only do while running at them. Yeah, the thing about this game is the charge moves. We, uh, we had a grand old time doing charge cancels with Chip. I don't know, um... Well, let's see what we can, let's see what we can do with, uh, with Soul. See if it's the same. Very rude, Zato! No, please, I beg you. <laughs> what the fuck was that drill? Oh, 
I guess it's kind of the same. It's kind of the same as with Chip. You hit me out of my super! It's very rude! Isuka, that was the one with the, uh... That was the one that was, like, four players simultaneous, right? Because that's the, that's the best game ever. <laughs> yeah, the one with a turn button. What a video game. Oh, you want a DP? I'll show you a DP! Another one! Yes, absolutely, Felly. The problem, of course, being this game is busted as all hell and every character's got, like, infinites and shit. Uh-oh. Yeah, that is his, uh, that is one of Saul's two supers. He's, I think he's only, I think he's one of the only characters in this game with two supers. Dragon and Stahl being the other one. <laughs> Volcanic Viper! But what if, though? This is the plan. Oh. Yeah, that's the loop. <laughs> Wait a minute, that didn't combo. <laughs> Why didn't that combo? <laughs> so that's the tech. You just run forward at 99, you do Volcanic Viper. And if it works, you just, you just have an infinite now. Is it right side only? I I don't think so. I'm pretty sure I was just fucking it up. <clears throat> I uh I don't have the best execution on planet Earth. I'm one of those people that have slightly more trouble doing DPs on the player two side. <laughs> Cliff, you're so short! Oh, you got dizzy. Another one! Oh, fuck! <laughs> what was that move? Okay. Yeah, it's Cliff! Remember Cliff? Arxis doesn't. But that's fine. We can appreciate him now. <laughs> Good combo. What is your insta-kill, Soul? Hold on. It might be too late in the arcade mode to go for insta-kills, but I want to see it. Maybe now is not the best time. Put Cliff and Strive, have him eat a cheeseburger. That's what I want. He might be the black guy. <clears throat> They, uh, they announced... What was his name? Did they ever name him? 
the uh, the new character. They showed him at like when they announced the game, and then I don't think they ever showed him again afterwards. Oh, Potemkin. You're too big. You're too big. It's easy to do infinites on you. We did not land the infinite. Or we did not land the insta-kill. Yo, GVG's in the chat. What are you talking about, Ray Smash? Shoutouts to GVG guy, that man loves him some Guilty Gear. <laughs> Did you just taunt me? Rude. Yo, Tides, thank you for the follow. <laughs> what is this? What form of power is this? Yes! Oh, I dropped him. <laughs> oh, no! Okay. <laughs> it's just all heavies. Oh, you missed, uh, you missed Incredible Crisis, Felly. Yeah, jorts, Axel. Bring back, bring back the jorts. <laughs> now we're playing this character. Yes! Oh, I dropped it. Okay, fair enough, I understand. Oh, that's a counter! Yeah, he's got the denim on lockdown. I can't believe I got hit by that move. <laughs> that move reminds me of, uh... That move reminds me of Dudley's Thunderbolt. <laughs> Wow, that's a lot of damage. Oh, is Geese in the background? Hold on. Where is my where is my boy Goose? Must be on the right side, or must be on the left side somewhere. What? Can I juggle into an insta kill though? Oh my goodness. I can, but they can mash out of the insta kill, so it doesn't actually matter much. You have to wonder if uh, the the crazy combo potential in this game is the reason they added a burst in later games. They had to see all the infinites in this game and they're like, that shit's gotta stop, let's put a burst feature in. <laughs> That's what I assume happened when developing every subsequent Guilty Gear. <laughs> Why is Gunflame performed with Slash? That doesn't feel right. I thought it was with Punch. <laughs> I 
わYes, heavy day is playing. <laughs> heavy day had no business going in as hard as it does. But they did that. They did that for all of us. Fuck, Testament's cool! What is, uh, what's the testament lore? Where's he been? You'll have to forgive me. I'm not actually very knowledgeable about Guilty Gear. Where has this character been? He's been working at a coffee shop. That sounds, that sounds like the correct answer. I'm going to assume that's the right answer. <laughs> Testament's clip sun made into a gear. Ah. I see, I see. No, Testament. Testament. Testament, please. Testament, please. Yo, eat shit. Yeah, so there's, uh, there's a bunch of missing characters, or at least the characters that have been not playable for a while. I don't think Anji's been playable for a while. Wouldn't mind Anji coming back. Yeah, Bridget's been out for a while. Dr. Baldhead's been missing since the first game. Where has that mysterious man been? It's a mystery. Oh yeah, I forgot about ABA. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Akari Allen? You're just in time to watch me get my shit kicked in <laughs> by justice. <laughs> Unless we can land this volcanic viper uh, loop. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, we're in, gamers. Maybe we're not in. Uh oh. <laughs> Oof, ouch, my bones. I'm gonna have to ask you to not. No, I'm sure you're a nice lady. Oh, that dizzies. Oh, it dizzies. Oh, it's not good. <laughs> Oh, 
Fair enough. We'll have to use the cheap shit. Uh-oh. Justice's theme is so good. Whoa. Oh, you just don't care about hits done, huh? You're just like, fuck that hits done? I understand. Uh oh. Shit! I don't think we're getting that bike in fight, boys. <laughs> No bacon for us, you hate to see it. Oh, are we gonna add more to this? Oh, baby. <laughs> Make it take even longer than it needs to. Now we're playing Guilty Gear. This is what it's all about. <laughs> what the fuck just happened? Okay. What? Alright, fair enough. At least we get to see this animation. <laughs> That's a cool insta-kill, not gonna lie. It's really cool. <laughs> I love how Volcanic Viper sends them to the fucking moon in this game. Like, they're off screen for a minute. Was that a reset? That can't be right. Big fan of how that laser dizzies you and then it re dizzies you if it doesn't again. Okay. Are oh, you talking about the um you're talking about the uh the, the Eno with the with the goofy like um projectiles where it shows where they're gonna go ahead of time? <laughs> Won't stop until all the gears are wiped out. Oh, is Justice just a dude in this game? Or no, that's Soul right there without the headband. Ooh, this is a good jam right here.
Ooh, that looks cool! <laughs> you, me, and that man. Who is that man? You may never know. <laughs> they really did do the title drop into roll credits. <laughs> Check out Axel's stage for the Fatal Fury cameos. I got you. I agree, the opponent. No matter how, uh, no matter how ridiculous your video game's title is, that you've gotta you've gotta have some character work it into a conversation somehow. <laughs> you've gotta you have to work in like a like a really contrived title drop. <laughs> Well, at least we died on the credits, I suppose. We could have certainly picked a worse time to die. So maybe it's uh, better this way. Yeah, sorry about that, everyone. Oh, God! So... <laughs> you know how OBS lets you have the, uh, docked, uh... The dot, the docked, uh, chat box? <laughs> so when I... But I closed OBS and reopened it. Now the chat is the uh, light theme. It is the brightest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> How do people live like this? How do people live with the light theme? Oh my god. How do people do that? How do people do that on Discord? That's my question. Every so often I see screenshots from Discord with the light theme. It's like, whoo! You live like this? Whoo! Yeah, there's a light theme for Discord. Don't, uh... Don't bother trying to access it. You'll, you'll only cause yourself bodily harm. <laughs> uh, somebody wanted me to look at Axel's stage. Check out this recent tweet from Arxis about new official pins. Ooh, that looks cool! Oh shit! Yeah, 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 yeah! I do notice something. I do notice something. <laughs> I hope they actually do bring him back. Oh, I see. I see the cameos back there. I see Goose Howard chilling on the left with his giant red pants. Terry jumping up and down on the right side. Joe Higashi's got no shirt on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a cool... <laughs> it's a cool cameo, I like that. <laughs> Goose... Geese is like... 
he's definitely like seven pixels. Yeah, that's about right. I'm trying to see if I see anyone else. That's got to be my and Andy in between uh, Joe and Terry. I can't identify anyone to the left of Joe though, besides Geese. Oh yeah, that might be Leona. Ralph Clark and Leona. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fuck, that's cool. That's a lot of cool cameos. <laughs> I never noticed that. Somebody pointed out that they saw geese in the background. Oh yeah, that's Athena right there. Who's next to Athena? I think that's the only other person we haven't identified. Oh, is that Shingo? Hmm. <laughs> Could be Kenso. Would Kenso stand like that, though? That's a that's a really that's a cool guy lean. I don't know if Kenso's that cool to do a cool guy lean like that. <laughs> that's true. He does wear blue, though. It it, it is probably Kenso. I would have to assume. But that's Kenso. He's Kenso and Athena. <laughs> yeah, we're identifying very small pixels. It's important, though. They're important pixels. They're important to me. Anyway, that's Guilty Gear. <laughs> 10 out of 10 best game ever made. Oh, yeah, was that Haydern? I believe that. Let's, uh... I, I know what to play. Yo, no problem, Kazoo Crash. How about we play... <coughs> oh, the stream's about to get weird, though. While we're on our PlayStation kick, let's play a Japan-exclusive game. <laughs> we're gonna play a, We're gonna play a Japan-exclusive game. I'm sure the people are familiar nowadays with a company called NT Creates. You know creators of the Mega Man Zero series and all that. What we're about to check out is the first game NT Creates ever made. Known only as Speed Power Gun Bike! It's the best name I've ever heard in my life. So, so we're going to check out Speed Power Gun Bike. This is the first game NT Creates developed back in, uh, 98, I think. <laughs> yeah, NT Creates did this. Ninety-eight's the best year of video games. Hard to disagree. Ninety-eight was a strong year. Ninety-eight was a very strong year. Unfortunately, a lot of this lore is going to be lost on us because we don't speak the language. But it is to my understanding that this game is about, um... It's about repelling an alien invasion. Some kind of aliens are threatening to take over the world. And humans, to respond, created a new type of technology called the Gun Bike. Published by Sony Music Entertainment Japan. <laughs> this game's training mode, chat room. This game's training mode is like an hour-long tutorial. Telling you all the complex mechanics of the game. We are not going to bother with that hour-long tutorial. We're just going to play the video game. We've got three characters. We've got Ipe. We've got Amy. And we've got uh, Major Now... Major No No. Major Now No, perhaps. He's a major, but he's 20 years old. That's fine. Every uh, every vehicle has three different modes. You've got the speed bike, 
You've got the armored rally mode, and you've got the armored fighting robot mode. They've all got different stats, and they've all got different cutscenes as well. Every character's got different, uh, slightly different cutscenes, even if the stages are the same. We're just gonna pick, uh, we're gonna pick this boy, because he's on the box art, I guess. <laughs> Yo, Sao Tome City! <laughs> Where's SK? Yeah. Yo, what's up, Bluto? Oh, it's hella anime, I agree. I'm about a hundred percent sure that whoever voices Batsu in Rival Schools, that's who voices the uh, character we've selected. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about a hundred percent sure. So, Speed Power Gun Bike, best title ever made. Ah, shit. Is uh, primarily a driving game. You drive around like this. Yo, what's up? Hi to hi to. You drive around like this. And whenever something appears in your way, you can switch into, uh, you switch into robot mode. Robot mode is the only way to deal damage to obstacles and such. Yeah, Link's voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And every time you complete a, uh, driving stage, usually there's a boss stage afterwards. So it starts off pretty easy, but this will get, uh... By the end of the game, this will get a lot trickier. I understand. Don't run into the crane. Fair enough. Now, give me out. <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> We picked a bad time to switch back to bike mode. So the gimmick with bike mode... The gimmick with bike mode is that it is the fastest vehicle. If you look at the top left corner of the screen, you can see that our energy meter... Excuse me. Our energy meter... ...is constantly going down. That is effectively your timer for the stage. So you want to go fast at all times, pretty much. That's why you want to be in bike mode which has the highest top speed, but on the other hand, if you get hit while you're in bike mode, you fall off the bike and you have to run all the way back. If you're in rally mode like this, you have the ability to turn better. And if you get hit, you don't, uh, you don't fall off the bike. That's the trade-off for being slightly slower. And robot mode is, uh, is the only way you can deal damage. You can't just stay in robot mode all the time, though, because every time you boost, if you look on the right side of the screen, there's a meter that fills up as you're boosting. And if it fills up all the way, the, the robot overheats. The robot is the only form that has this problem. So you only want to be in robot mode once there is something in front of you to attack, generally. So this game is a little jank, mechanically. <laughs> I'd say that the biggest challenge with this game is learning to... learning how to control the video game. 
because the controls of this game are very strange and hard to uh, get used to. But once you once it like clicks, it's really fun. <laughs> No, get me back in bike mode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does the gun bike have a gun? Yes, it does, actually. Well, not the bike, but the robot has a gun. It can shoot one bullet at a time. You can pull the gun out, and then it fires around. Yo, Golden Cherry Dragon, think of the fellow. It fires one singular bullet, and then you put it away. <laughs> That's all you can do with the gun. It's actually not that useful. There's probably, like, one boss fight where we'll use it, though. Oh, we're being shot at! No, stop. Stop, I beg you. So the challenge in this game is primarily finishing stages before your energy runs out. That's usually your only, like, lose condition, is having your, uh, time run out. That's the only way to lose. Hey, you're right, energy. <laughs> he doesn't sound 15 years old. The character we've selected is 15 years of age. <laughs> Sounds like a full-grown man. Warning. Oh, shit! That's a big boy. You would love to see NT Creates release this game. Apparently they thought about it, or they... I don't think they're allowed to, though, because I think um, Sony Music Entertainment Japan, who uh, published the game, I'm pretty sure they own it and not NT Creates. So I don't even think they're allowed to re-release it. Sony would have to do it. And, you know, generally that's... It's not gonna happen if it's up to Sony, unfortunately. I agree, though. I'd love to see this come out again. It's on the PSN in Japan. Ooh, so you can get it! That's cool. It's at least on one store. I don't know how PS... I don't know how, like, PlayStation accounts work. I don't know if you would need to make, like, a Japanese account to access the Japanese store or whatever. But if it's available in any kind of capacity, I guess that's cool. Oh, why did I jump? I completely forgot I could jump. <laughs> there we go. All I gotta do for this boss is run into one of the legs and then, like, run into its main body. Because our gun bike generally does not have a gun, as advertised, the only way that you, uh... The only way that you attack is just by smashing into stuff. <laughs> That's all you do. Knock down a leg and then just dash into it. This is how you, this is how you deal damage. You just dash into shit. Punch bike would have sounded cooler, yeah. <laughs> Is pretty. I think this is a pretty ambitious concept for the PlayStation. So the uh, female voice that we hear communicating with us 
during this boss fight is the gun bike. As far as I'm aware, as far as I've been able to uh, figure out, the gun bikes are sentient in some fashion, kind of like uh, Kit from Knight Rider. I don't know if there's like a human brain in there or if they're just a... Uh, or what's going on exactly. <laughs> But yeah, that's the that's the gun bike talking to us. Our other playable characters have arrived. Yeah, pretty much Jagger Freud. Oh, he's so hot blooded. <laughs> you can hear it in his voice. Maritime Road, Japan, July 28th, 2097! This game takes place in 2097. If this doesn't actually happen that year, I'm gonna be very upset. If we don't have gun bikes by then, I'm gonna be pissed. took out the bridge. Go for Chase. This is a PS1 game, yeah. <laughs> the octagon. Ass. I wasn't going to draw attention to the octagon ass. So, our playable character, Ipe, and the Major have been having disagreements since the game began. It's unclear whether, uh... It's unclear who disapproves of, the, of whose, like, methods or whatever. But they have some fundamental disagreements and they keep arguing. <laughs> That's what keeps happening here. Oh, Jesus! You know what? Fair enough. I shouldn't have been in bike mode. I learned a lesson. <laughs> Maybe stay in rally mode when there's enemies nearby. <laughs> See, if we stay in rally mode, we're good. Even if something runs into us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah his future road rash. That's a good way to put it. Except very Japanese and mecha-inspired. Alright, there's nobody nearby. Let's go back to the bike. Oh, who are these two? What? Oh, they're shooting at us! That is very calm music. <laughs> oh, I hit her. I think it's a sheet. It sounded like a sheet. It's unclear. 
We'll be seeing more of these two characters later on. Rude. Okay, who can panic with this, uh... Who can panic with this chill-ass music playing? The stages in this game, to their credit, at least, like, the, the driving-focused stages, they're all pretty... They're pretty long. Like, longer than you'd expect it to be in a game like this. You'd expect it to be like a circular loop that you just do laps. But they have they have very large singular lap roads that you go down. <laughs> and there's all these scripted events that happen while you're along them. Then we get to here and we can see that the road is blocked. Roads blocked this away. The road's blocked this away. There's nowhere to go. However, if we press the select button to look at our radar, we can see that it's telling us to go left. Which is odd, because there's no left. There's just a wall here. You're supposed to break down the wall. <laughs> oh, we went the wrong way. Oh, we went the wrong way! Yeah, obviously. <laughs> to be fair, though, they probably, like, told us that. They probably told us that over the intercom, but we don't understand the language. Oh, we're going the wrong way again. <laughs> Yeah, so generally you always want to have your radar open. You can see it in the uh, on the left side of the screen. There's like an arrow. It says range underneath it. Always points you in the right direction. You have to access it, though, by pressing select. It's not open at all times. Usually this is open, which serves no purpose. Ow. Oh feel not safe. <laughs> Weeaboo Armored Core. I mean, is Armored Core not already? Armored Core is definitely... Armored Core definitely fits that description already. <laughs> Ooh, I gotta play some Armored Core soon. <laughs> Fucking love that game. New Armored Core is deconfirmed. Oh yeah, didn't uh... FromSoft said that they were considering making another one, yeah? Or at least that they said that um, they weren't opposed to not making one. Or whatever. There was some kind of armored core thing they mentioned recently. Said he's working on it? Okay. It's better than nothing, I suppose. Warning! Oh, there's some behind us. That's a big ass train. <laughs> the train is the boss, the entire train. <laughs> Oof, ouch, my bones. We gotta dash into it from behind. Ah! 
gotta run back to the damn bike. This is ridiculous. <laughs> and it's the funniest shit when you get knocked off the bike. <laughs> you have to very slowly run all the way back. It's so inconvenient. Oh, we took out that car. We took out that train car. That's a big gun. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Okay, I understand. We need to stay to the sides that it's not firing on. Fair enough. Yeah, that took a lot of energy. <laughs> uh oh. Now the problem is you're still uh your energy is still running out as you run back to the bike. So it takes even more of your time. So we better step on it. Which side is it gonna shoot from? Okay. Oh, that still hit us! <laughs> yeah, running back to the bike is pretty, uh... <laughs> it's a little much. It'd be nice if you could run a little faster. This game's got some pretty jank mechanics to it. Oh, hello! What is the pattern here? Is it both of the sides and then the middle? Yeah. Ah shit. All right, I don't think we're I don't think we're winning this one. I suppose the strat then is to uh not be in bike mode all the time like a dingus. We should probably have spent more time in rally mode. But I don't know if that's fast enough to catch up to the train. That's the... that's the problem. Energy empty! You all over! It was all worth it just for that screen. <laughs> It was all worth it. <laughs> Dito is all over. We ran out of energy. It's all over. Oh, that's good damage. Okay, so rally mode can catch up to the train. Albeit very slowly. Maybe that's fine, though. We don't need it to be that fast. Yeah, that's all we need. So we can be safe about it. Oh, let's not get hit by that one. Let's see, what is the, uh... The missiles don't cover both sides perfectly. The tracks at least a little bit. All 
Uh, we do kind of have to go in bike mode, though. Oh, let's dodge the missiles first. The missiles are hard to dodge. Or wait a minute, maybe we should just, uh... We should just charge through the missiles, probably. Yeah. That's probably the smart thing to do. Uh-oh. <laughs> that wasn't the smart thing to do. <laughs> this is how your grandpas walk to school, yeah. They had to drive a gun bike uphill both ways. And they liked it. <laughs> All right, get me back in. Get me back in. Oh, hello. Hey, we did it. Feels pretty good. So apparently, though, we are being led to believe that we're fighting this kind of like alien menace. The reason the gun bikes had to be created in the first place was to repel this alien menace. But all we're fighting- oh, Jesus. <laughs> but all we're fighting is, like, tanks and shit. So I guess we're to believe that these are, like, alien tanks. I guess that's fine. It's a little strange, but whatever. We need to, uh... We should probably just stay in robot mode for this. We're asking for trouble. First ask it for trouble doing this with the bike. <laughs> no, I want this. Thank you. Yeah, it's like Blaster Master, both bikes. The aliens have taken over the military. That could be. It's not super clear to an English speaker, I admit. Another, uh, another problem is that this game would be really hard to, like, translate, you know? Because it's fully voiced in... It's fully voiced in Japanese and there's no subtitles yet. And if there's no subtitles already in the game, they can't really, like, hack them to be English. They would have to somehow add subtitles in, which I don't think is gonna... Don't think that's gonna happen anytime soon. <laughs> So I don't know if this game will ever be translated into English. The language barrier, though. The language barrier is low enough that you can still play through the entire game. Most of the text is in English. <laughs> Like, enough of it's in English that you don't need to worry about it. You just kind of miss story bits. Yeah, we are just going to stay the robot for this. I find it is the best way to go about these tight corners. Yo, welcome back, Skella Harpy. Sorry to hear about your laptop problems. Unless they manage to dub it over in English, yeah. Welcome to the fantasy Yo, Twisted Deeds, thank you for the follow. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Big fan of the way that you just kind of bonk into walls to break them down. <laughs> Now, this uh, stage is where the jank controls of robot mode are most apparent. <laughs> there's no, there's not like a good way to turn just a little bit. 
you can either do this very slow turn with the analog stick while you're moving, or you can do this strafe, which goes way too much sideways. <laughs> There's not like a middle way to turn. <laughs> and that's the one you need the most. So it makes um it makes maneuvering the robot more trouble than it needs to be sometimes. Yeah, that's what rally mode's for. And yet, at the same time, rally mode has, like, wheels and shit, so turning is a problem when you happen to, like, go the wrong way with it. It's easier for this thing. Uh, it's easier for robot mode to do a complete circle if you, like, go to a dead end or whatever than it is for rally mode to turn around. Rally mode's got the best turning in the game, though, certainly. We should probably pay more attention to our heat gauge so that we are not constantly overheating. This is one of the longer stages in the game as well. But I feel like we're getting towards the end of it. It's basically just a fuck ton of these tunnels. You're going through these tunnels. No, please, I beg you. Yeah, overheating is very easy. Now, boosting through tunnels. This is uh, that. This is this is big uh, armored core vibes for me. Especially like armored core one, where it's got you doing a lot of this exact shit. But I could see the resemblance to Mega Man Legends as well, because you get, like, the rocket skates. <laughs> as soon as I got the rocket skates in Mega Man Legends, I decided that I wasn't ever going to not use them. So I was skating around all the time in situations that didn't call for it, and it was very... It was not optimal, I'll say that much. We are running out of energy. Oh, here's some. No, 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 no. Give me this energy. Thank you. <laughs> it's super goofy, I agree. No, give me out. Check these side paths for any more energy there might be. Or are we just at the end? Sick, we made it. Just barely. <laughs> you can tell he's the protagonist. You can tell he's the protagonist because he's got the red scarf. <laughs> That's the trope for cool character. Does your character have a red scarf? That means he's cool. <laughs> Yeah, bad fashion sense makes you the hero. I see. Now that looks like an alien. That's the first alien we've seen so far. We gotta fight this weird, like, uh... This weird sea monster boss. <laughs> We've spent this entire time working our way onto the dock or this boat or wherever we are currently. Yo, where are you at? Oh, we need to take these out as they spawn them in. <laughs> it's time for gun! That's what we want. Yes. Come over here. No, let me hit you in the face, though. You just kind of vaguely dash into it. That's the that's the strat here, generally. <laughs> Whenever you've got the opportunity to just kind of just just kind of nudge it, it'll it'll probably die before you will. Yeah, the game's got a combo counter. So if you um. 
if you're constantly dashing into stuff, you can get combos, and that builds meter. If you look at the bottom left corner of the screen, you can see that we've got a super meter of sorts. Unfortunately, the supers in this game are almost worthless. I can show you what they do, though. The first problem is figuring out how to use your meter. So if you've got one stock of meter, you can do a super by pressing up and then down and then triangle. You are notified of this in the tutorial. Hold on, let's get some let's get this easy damage first. <laughs> yeah, you can get juggled pretty hard. It doesn't do much damage though, so I'm totally fine with it. Okay. So once you have a meter, you press up and down in triangle, and you... You do, you do this big super move. You pull out this giant gun! <laughs> and you fire it in front of you. Here's the problem. Yo, Tricolor, thank you for the follow. The problem with the supers are... It doesn't freeze time. So that whole cutscene, the enemy will probably have just, like, moved away from you. <laughs> it's kind of a problem. It makes it more or less impossible to land any hits with it. Because that cutscene is, like, a full 15 seconds long, and by the time... By the time you fire, <laughs> they're just gone already. There is, like, one instance where it's useful, but you have to make sure that... You have to make sure ahead of time that you know that they're not going to move out of the way. And there's really only one boss in the game that applies to. Uh-oh. Oh, the player's health, uh, Mr. Fariator, it's the top left number. You don't really have health so much as you have a timer. If you run out of energy, the game is over. So don't run out of energy. Yo, we shot him, though. I feel pretty good about that. One more hit ought to do it. There we go. <laughs> yeah, it's the Excite Bike Simulator. Oh man, it is Excite Bike, isn't it? You can fall off your bike and excite bike, yeah? The entire ocean is just red. <laughs> big fan of the uh <laughs> big fan of the like anime-esque chapter titles oh shit we're just starting okay we're just going fair enough now everybody out of the way <laughs> the character model. You're not supposed to see it, to be fair. You're not supposed to really look at the character model. You're supposed to just see the, uh, see the cool robot and be like, oh, that's a neat looking robot. To the <laughs> Get ready. Yo, Jao Getsu, thank you for the follow. Now right, we're gonna stay in rally mode as much as we can. Whoa! No, hold on. Hold on, excuse me, sir. You, you seem like a nice person. Hold on. What's the deep lore? I don't know if the deep... I don't know if the lore is that deep in this game. I don't think it's any more deep than, uh... Take your gun bike and defeat the alien menace. <laughs> I don't think it's any deeper than that. Alright, I got that energy, though.
Yeah, I agree, Variator. There's, um, there's a lot of NT Creates tendencies in this game that they were already up to. NT Creates, just for people who don't know who they are, they're the creators of the Mega Man Zero series. They're like, it was, a, it was initially a group of like 11 or 10 like ex-Capcom guys. And they all went and they started doing their own thing. Fuck. <laughs> and you can see you can see a lot of it in their in their newer games too. <laughs> they've never really they've never really deviated from what they found to work. And I ended up making some Capcom games anyway. <laughs> Why did they leave Capcom? That's what I, uh... That's what I don't know. I don't know the hot lore on why they left Capcom to begin with. I'm sure it's pretty spicy, though. Yo, thanks for coming out to the stream! No, excuse me. I want this energy. Thank you. Not the pinball flipper! Alright, fair enough. <laughs> Yo, sick more energy! I think Treasure is still, uh... I think Treasure is still doing stuff. I don't know if they're making wacky ass games like they did before, but they're still around. Which is really unfortunate cuz that's what that's what current video games need is some treasure wackiness. I miss Treasure. <laughs> We're being taunted by the next boss. She sounds like she's five years old. <laughs> Yo, Sin and Punishment 3, they would never. As much as I want them to. <laughs> Yo, Sin and Punishment is really cool. I love that the gun bike doesn't have, like... <laughs> I love that the gun bike doesn't have any particular name. He just calls it Gun Bike. He could have named it whatever he wanted to, really, but he, he didn't. What an anti-air! Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> See if we can't sidestep everybody. Up against Red Steel 2 for best Wii game. Clearly the best Wii game is uh is uh, a Super Monkey Ball Banana Blitz. The way God intended it with the motion controls. Mmm, that's the way. It's not like they had to re-release that one with functional controls later on. Could you imagine? If that had to happen? Alright, we did it. Oh yeah, that's already- that's on the to-do list, uh, Sanatsukai. So 
It's not on today's list, don't get me wrong, but it's on the to-do list. Alright, the boss. This boss, I remember being kind of a problem. Okay. So wherever the boss appears, like you can see it way back there, spawning lightning and shit. You have to really make sure you don't get hit too much by that lightning. Because it'll, it'll be very easy to die first. <laughs> yeah, like that shit will really eat away at your energy. You need to make sure that um, you get close enough so that changing into robot mode and doing like the robot mode dash attack, you need to make sure that you get close enough without touching the lightning that you can land that dash attack. Like that, that's how you... That's the way to do it. And it's very tricky, it's very easy to lose this particular fight, just because the lightning does so much damage. And another problem is you need to make sure you're going fast enough in the first place, so that when you change into a uh, robot mode, you actually get the dash attack. If you're not going fast enough, you don't get it. Like so, we weren't going fast enough just now. So there's a lot of- there's a lot going on. And all the while, you need to, you know, turn well, which is easier said than done. <laughs> and you need to make sure that she doesn't teleport away from you. <clears throat> one of the- one of the trickier fights in the game. Certainly. No, stop, I beg you. Whoop! No, get away from me. Get the hell away from me. Whoop! It is unnecessary. It's unnecessarily complex, I agree. <laughs> that sums up a lot of bosses in this game, though, I suppose. We are, uh, swiftly running out of energy, though. Let's see if we can't kill him! Yes! That was a close one! <laughs> Let's be thankful that did 21% damage. The Green Highlands, Russia! This is where we see that the, uh, the Major has betrayed us. One of the playable characters has betrayed the other one. Go for fight! Ah! Nike, that's a lot of gift subs! Holy shit! Thank you so much, Nike! What a guy. Yo, look at all those emotes he handed out. So we gotta fight the Major. How could he do this? <laughs> oh, it's gun bike versus gun. Oh God! Felly is gifted a sub to Zetsubera. Holy shit! Ow! Ow! That's very rude. How could you? Thank you so much, Felly. Oh, we're already at 50. Can I shoot him? Oh god, I can't turn fast enough with the gun out. <laughs> oh dear god! 
Feli has gifted another sub to Final Fantasy. Holy shit, Feli. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're the evil one. You're probably right. Oh, Jesus, not the sword. Uh, we're not winning this one in time. Okay, so note for the second attempt, we need to make sure we don't get sworded. The the sword looks like the attack to avoid the most. Let's see if we can't get some mileage out of the uh let's see if we can't get some mileage out of that gun. Cause it looks like we can stay pretty far away. Oh, gun bike ran out of energy. Yeah, what Big Bang said. Definitely part of the difficulty of this game is learning how to tame the camera. <laughs> the camera can be... The camera can be a big problem in this game because there's no way to control it manually. It just kind of goes wherever you're going. There's no camera rotation that you are in control of. <laughs> Oh, he blocked it. No, get me out. <laughs> I'm gonna slowly turn around. <laughs> he blocked it anyway. Oh, we're in the lead, though. I think you're right, Blasticator. I mean, that's what happens, though. Don't I love this game's lock-on? You're absolutely right. Oh god, get away from me. Woo. Okay, I'll take that hit. <laughs> no, stop, leave me alone. Yes! Hit and run, that's the tick. We want to make sure he runs out first. Okay, we dodged the sword that time. <laughs> yeah, that's basically all we're doing, right? We're just jousting. He's got a gun! He's got a better gun than we do. Yeah, somebody's evil. Somebody in this exchange is evil. It's not clear who. Could be him. Could be us. Either way, we're fighting with the Major. Alright, fair enough. You got me. <laughs> Yo, Z targeting. When did Ocarina of Time come out? It had to be. It had to be before this game, yeah? Z-targeting had to have been a thing. But it is the main source of difficulty in this game. The, the like, manual aim that everything has. There's no way to lock on. So this is the only way to do it. And that takes time. To, it takes it takes time to master. That's what the long ass tutorials for. <laughs> once you can pilot the, uh, once you know how to pilot the bike, good enough to actually win fights. Though it's really satisfying when you actually do. <laughs> That's the appeal. Yo, what a trade! I'll take that trade. Okay, that's not as good of a trade. I don't like that one. Yo, he just comboed the shit out of us, and I like that. <laughs> what? <laughs> Did anybody else see that hitbox on the sword? I didn't imagine that, right? <laughs> 
Uh oh. I don't think we're winning this one, boys. <laughs> I was definitely behind him, yeah? That's what I saw. That's fine. Yeah, we're gonna get him, though. I don't think we're getting him this attempt. No, we're out of, we're out of energy. Now, this is usually the only boss in the game that I try to use the gun for, but we kind of need him to cooperate enough that we can line a shot up. And then he has to not block the bullet, which is a whole other ball game entirely. But if we can land the gun shot, it does like a, like a not small amount of damage. The problem is setting that up in the first place. No, please, I beg you. Because quite often, he'll just block the bullet. If he doesn't, though, it's like a like an easy 14 or 15%. It's pretty nice. Uh-oh. Yeah, give me up. <laughs> We're back to jousting. Rude. There we go. If we can keep tagging him, we'll be fine. We wanna we wanna hit him in such a way that we can sneak past him afterwards. Because with all these previous attempts, after we ran into him, he would uh he would he would like punish it, yeah? That's unsafe on hit if we're right in front of him at the end of the move. Alright, cool. The sword's not cool. But that data's cool. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit! He chased us down. The engine sounds like a 50cc bike, yeah. <laughs> Yo, good combo. I'm surprised he even falls for combos. Oh, I landed that bullet. Yes, that's like 15% when it works. How come his energy doesn't go down over time? That's a fantastic question, because if you actually pick that character, you know, it works the way that ours works right now. No, let me touch you first, though. Got him. <laughs> because of his strong sense of justice, you're right. Yo, what a sore loser! Oh, off he goes. みちみきの声を聞いたはずだ。Good question, McStevie. <laughs> so the Major just fucks off. I don't know if we ever see him again. I don't know if I'm supposed to feel sorry for him or not, but he kind of beat up that girl. That's not good. How can I care about this character? Oh, Jesus Christ! Not the tanks! What? 
Klonoa. Yo, I gotta play some Klonoa at some point. I have a confession to make, chat room. Never, never have I ever actually played like a Klonoa game. <laughs> I know who the character is. I know what he looks like. I've never actually, uh, never actually played one of those. Maybe they're the best games ever, and I've just never known. It could be the best game on the planet Earth, and I've just been unaware this whole time. Oh, Jesus! Switching to the bike was a bad idea. This is some cheery music, actually. <laughs> This is some cheerful music for what we just went through. We have to start with we, Klonoa? Okay. That sounds correct. <laughs> Am I safe over here? Can I just... Can we just chill on the right side of the street? What's the benefit of using the bike over the robot? If you use the bike, you... If you use the bike, you can fall off the bike like this. But, um... The bike doesn't have the overheat problem. The robot can only go forward so much... ...before it has to stop due to overheating. The, uh... Neither form of the bike has that problem. Oh, the music just changed. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There was energy right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. Thank you. I needed that. Oh, door stuck! Okay, we're unstuck. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Sneaky Maldrin? No, excuse me. Tell me we're done. Are we done? Are we safe? Are we free? Oh, we're not done. We've got a we've got an energy problem here. Uh oh. Oh, switch to the bike. It's gonna be close. I don't think we're beating this one. <laughs> I don't think we're getting out of this one in time. Yeah, fair enough. <clears throat> so this is going to be a matter of trying not to take too many hits on the way to the end of the stage. Good ol' ah, the classic. We all over. You hate to see it. Let's try to minimize the amount of shots we take. That's not- we're not off to a great start. <laughs> no, excuse me. I'm sure you're all very nice people. No, excuse me, I've got places to be. I'm on a- I'm on a very tight schedule, you understand. Thank you. Okay, that was a bit cleaner than the first time. <clears throat> Oof, ouch. We can get comboed by these bullets, that's not great. <laughs> or maybe if there's a second, uh, maybe if there's a second energy pickup somewhere, we can make use of that. Because we only found that one on our first try. Go 
faster. There's the energy. Oh, I think we're doing way better this time. We didn't have 70 getting here the first time. We should be fine this time, then. Unless something absolutely tragic happens. <laughs> but that would never happen live on a Dino Please stream. When has that ever happened? <laughs> Must be a Bluto curse, yeah. Let's see, can I can I wrap up this section within the next 33 energy? Probably. Am I safe over here? How safe are we on this side of the road? I guess they just fucked off. <laughs> Alright, cool. Clear <laughs> <laughs> That's my reaction to anything. Exactly what he just shouted. That's how I feel. So now we finally get to deal with these two. This is the second time that we've uh, run into these two during the game, but now we actually have to fight them. They've got their own gun bike. Fuck, their gun bike's cooler than ours! This boss theme reminds me a lot of, like, uh, a Mega Man Zero song. <laughs> We overheat it! Definitely the precursor to all those Mega Man Zero soundtracks. <laughs> Yeah, he's got a Rapukin. Yo, Null Vortex, thank you for the follow. Whoop! That almost hit us. Yo, Nushi, thank you for the follow. Oh, that's a lot of damage! Oh, it's still ticking down. <laughs> that did all of our health. <laughs> Chuck? 
All right, so that whole sequence hit us for about 70%. <laughs> Fair enough. Noted. Noted. Play carefully. <laughs> yeah, we never left Guilty Gear 1, you're right. Wait a minute. I have an idea. Yes. Oh, that's how we can do it. Okay, so they got armor during that move. We can't do damage during the uh, Ripuken. Looks like any other time is fair game, though. No, how dare you. What if they remade this game? They talked about it! Inti Creates actually talked about the, um... the concept of coming back to this game at some point. They said that, um... they would probably do a lot of things differently. <laughs> If they ever came back to it. And that's fair enough because... Oh! Yo, sick juggle! And that's fair enough because, uh... Certain aspects of this game have not aged super well. The controls and the camera probably being the big ones. But the concept is really cool. And it'd be, it'd be pretty sick if they ever did, like, revisit that. Mega Man Legends 3. Oof. I'm not even, like, the biggest Mega Man fan in the world, and Mega Man Legends 3 makes me sad, too. It's so unfortunate. <laughs> oh, do you have armor during that, too? Shit! There's just some attacks that you cannot, uh... Just some attacks you cannot punish. Another one. Another one. Another one. <laughs> Sony cracking down on weeb games if they went to, uh... If they went back to this instead of a gal gun. Uh... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> gal gun, that's, um... That's a game. That's a thing that exists, I suppose. That sure does, uh, exist. I'm sure that... I'm sure that that game had a target audience. <laughs> Welcome to the Fantasy Zone. Get ready. Yo, thank you for the follow, Super Butter Monster. What a guy. What a name, what a guy. Uh, this is a problem. We've got a we've got an energy situation. New plan. Let's use this and pray to God 
that they walk into it. <laughs> I don't think they moved into it. <laughs> I think we missed. <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. Meanwhile, their health was going up, I noticed, during that cinematic. Oh yeah, I was definitely healing during that. All the more reason, I suppose, not to give it space to breathe. Keep being annoying with shit like this. <laughs> that backwards dash all the way into it. Oh shit! We gotta... We gotta get out of the way for that move. Fuck, that's so much damage. <laughs> oh, I guess we're just dead now. <laughs> Alright, this boss is hard. The good news is, if we get the... If we get past this boss, we're home free. Because the... Everything after this is really easy. This is the last hard part. Yeah, we gotta be attitude for games. You're absolutely right. Uh-oh. Okay, at least we were on the ground for that. We didn't get juggled. Get me the hell out of there. I don't want to participate in that drill attack. Uh-oh. You're a very intimidating robot. What if I shoot it, though? <laughs> I don't think that worked. No, please, I beg you. Oh, you split up after one hit? Maybe that's fine. Cause it's kinda easy to punish this move. You wait and you wait just wait for it to reform and you just run into him. Yo, what's up, Kunin? Oh ooh, ow, oof. <laughs> you gave me all that, huh? I'm thinking it's time to go for the Hail Mary laser and see if it works. I have a plan. It's not gonna work, but check this shit out. Not 
god, you real Okay. Oh, ooh, ow, my bones. <laughs> yeah, he was moving. The supers are, uh, the supers aren't great in this game. Generally, in a video game like this, you would expect the supers to, uh, freeze time. <laughs> so that if you aimed it correctly, it would work. <laughs> but th there's nothing like that in this game. So you just kind of have to hope and pray that they stay still that entire time. No, it's fine, though. It adds to the drama, though. Oh, man, we just barely got out of the way. <laughs> give f You'll give five subs if I hard read a laser cannon? All right. Check this shit out, chat room. Here we go. <laughs> it's just fucking around behind us in complete safety. <laughs> that couldn't have gone much better. I don't I think. That that seemed optimal. Now you get your ass back here though. Oh, that's got a hitbox behind you? Oh, lord. All right, noted. Noted for the future. I could try again, but we've got no meter for it. It costs meter. We've only got... We've got no more meter. Ooh. Yo, fourth Tim. Thank you for the follow. What happened to the other three Tims, I wonder? We'll never know. <laughs> Something about, uh... Something about the backwards slide is really funny to me. <laughs> That's the attack we most need to avoid, I think, those drills. Oh, Jesus! Yeah, that's why. <laughs> it's so much damage. Yo, Humberto, thank you for the follow. Hold on, we should probably just take this so we can so we can get to our next attempt faster. All right, cool. We're gonna need to master the uh, the controls of robot mode to finish this shit. Now, the good news is we get that combo for free at the start of every attempt. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, the English in this game is worth the price of admission alone. I got a feeling that does a lot of damage if we get hit by that. Let's try and make sure that doesn't happen.
Yeah, the boss does not stand still for very long. Perhaps doing the uh, hit and run strategy with rally mode is the tech. Seems like the most reliable way to uh, avoid certain attacks. But the problem is it's got armor on um, some of its moves. Like that one. We wouldn't be able to uh, deal damage on the startup of that move. <laughs> yeah, the lack of a camera. Lack of a camera is not great. But it becomes a... Uh, it becomes less of an issue, like, the more you just kind of get used to it. I have an idea. I wonder if we got hit by that. Did we iframe through that with our laser, I wonder? <laughs> yeah, just keep bumping into us, I guess. Oh shit, did we land that? Oh fuck! Yo, this game's easy, chat room. This game's easy. This game's for babies. Oh no, our gun bike! Oh no, the gun bike. Gun bike's injured. Yo, thanks for the gift subs, Devon. What a guy. I can't believe it either, Devon. <laughs> oh man, I think our gun bike's dead. <laughs> that was a stupid Hail Mary idea, and it actually worked. <laughs> we were definitely going to lose if we whiffed that. So our gun bike's dead, and yet somehow... Uh, we're just back, everything's fine. <laughs> For the final boss. <laughs> Dialogue says that the AI is dead, but the pilot has it under manual. Ah, I see. So now we're actually piloting it ourselves. This is some, like, Mega Man X ambience. What the fuck is going on? Uh, we gotta stop this, uh, we gotta stop the alien leader. I suppose that's what we're dealing with here. We're standing on white honeycombs. We gotta stop this last boss right here! 
Also, our gun bike is dead. We're using it. We're piloting it manually. And yet, this is like one of the easier bosses in the game because it never moves. So all you gotta do is just get kind of close, dash into it like this, and then dash back out. This boss is a lot easier than the previous one. He was hoping we'd have to do it on foot. Yeah, this would have been a nice time for the uh, laser attack. This is like the one boss in the game that doesn't move, so going for the uh, Hail Mary hype beam would be the, the thing to do. However, we've got no meter because we spent it on that last boss. <laughs> Uh oh, uh oh, door stuck. Don't get me out. I don't think you can gain meter during the, um, during boss fights, no. <laughs> and we went straight from one boss fight to another. But yeah, this boss is uh, easy enough that we don't have to worry about it. You just drive in, then you dash, and then you drive out. That's all there is to it. Essentially, yeah, nice. I prefer to think that this is uh, one of those deals where the previous boss is the real final boss, and this is more of a victory lap kind of deal. You know those, uh, you know those RPGs where after the final boss, there's another thing that's like easier than the stuff before it. <laughs> I feel like it's one of those. Whoa! What was that screen effect? The entire Gradius series, yeah, pretty much. Now we get to enjoy this uh, very strange ending sequence. Let's all uh, let's all put our heads together and try to figure out this ending sequence. You know, I wasn't going to draw attention to that fact, Fairyator, but, uh, yeah, it seems that way. <laughs> this section is playable, by the way, as we float through this, uh, this space tunnel. This goofy space tunnel, we've got complete control of our character. Yo, what's up, K Price? And we'll just, uh, let's just soak this in, whatever is happening right now. <laughs> this is what Hal was trying to prevent, yeah. Make sure we don't bump into Zod, you're absolutely right. I'm gonna hit every single one of these, uh... Gonna hit every single one of these evil dominoes, though. Gonna... Gonna bonk into all of them, because that feels like the thing to do.
Oh, gotta watch out for Jupiter. Welcome to the fantasy zone. Get ready. Yo, Bav, thank you for the follow. Oh, oh, there's shit flying towards us. Yo, shoutouts to Mars. What a cool planet. What's your planet tier list, chat room? What's the coolest planet that's not Earth? Lighting machine broke. Earth is probably like fifth coolest anyway. You're probably right. What a backflip. Pluto's got a really tiny hurt box. That's true. They're probably going to nerf that in the next patch, though. Pluto's been, uh, Pluto's been dominating the meta lately. It's not great. If they don't fix that soon, people are gonna stop playing. <laughs> that's uh that's how I felt the first time I played this Virtuous Santis. It's uh this game gets really weird at the end. Extremely. Different endings for the different characters. Yeah, uh, I don't know if the endings are... I don't know if the endings differ that much. Some of the cutscenes do, certainly. And you know how um, the character we picked fights the uh, the major in one of the boss fights? If you pick the girl that gets beat up in that cutscene, I think she's got like a completely different boss fight. Because Ipe and the major just fight each other, but she's got like a completely unique thing for that stage. Also, Sour Please, I guess. <laughs> it's certainly a game. It ramps up in difficulty like crazy. Like the first stage is it's pretty hard to lose, I would say. Because you're you're given so much energy. <laughs> but it becomes more and more of an issue later on when things start to do more and more damage. So you need to learn how to minimize getting hit. And that's the main problem with the game, I would say, is dodging things because the controls don't really allow you to dodge things. Still a very cool game though. And um I mean for NT Creates his very first game, it's pretty it's pretty cool. You can definitely see uh some of the things that they would use <laughs> in later games. Yo, $90? Is this game $90 on eBay? Somebody told me that it was on the, um... Somebody told me it was on the Japanese uh, PSN store. So that's probably your best bet. <laughs> Wins Gal Gun Bike. That's the crossover that we don't need. 
That's the crossover nobody asked for. Yo, thanks for coming out to the stream, Nike. Yo, darts. So many gift subs today. A bunch of absolute lunatics giving out a lot of gift subs today. Thank you all so much. And thank uh, thank you everybody who came out to the stream. I was a little um I was a little down today about the whole Twitch denying my partner application thing. But I I've gotten over it during the course of this stream. <laughs> feel much better. Yeah, we'll have to uh, we'll have to apply again some other time. We were uh, we were pretty much told that we just have to stream more frequently. They really want me to stream like three days a week. That's not gonna be that's not gonna happen uh, for like the rest of this year. It's December, so I can't be doing like three streams a week during the holiday season. There's like other family shit to do. But in, like, January, January, February, I think we can maybe try to start sneaking in Wednesdays and see if I don't absolutely kill myself in the process. Maybe it'll be fine. <laughs> we'll have to see. Oh, was that our, uh... <laughs> that was our first attempt that ended in failure in number one. We only beat four stages on that credit. Oh, I have no idea the opponent. I've got, I've got no plan. I don't even know what to do for, uh... I don't even know what to do on Monday. What day is it? It's Friday, yeah? Yeah, I don't even know what to do on Monday. We'll have to figure it out soon, though! I would like to... I would like to thank everybody that came out to the stream. That's about all the time I've got today. Thank you to everybody who tuned in for this. Suggest revisiting games I didn't get one CC on. Yeah, that that could that could be a thing. I still want that Metal Slug one CC. Thank you to everybody who hosted and rated and subscribed. Thank you to everybody who gift subbed all those fucking gift subs. You absolute lunatics! Thank you so much. I appreciate you all. Yo, thank you for the host, Jelani. Thank you to everybody that uh, shows any kind of support. I will try my absolute best to make that thing happen. We'll keep trying. We'll we'll do our best, see if we can make it work. Um, What am I doing? Where am I going? Where are we going? That's the question. Who are we raiding? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Murph is on. What's he doing? Playing, what's he playing? Link to the Past? What is Dream Trove playing? Hold on. I don't know if I've ever raided Dream Trove. Ooh. Classic Doom. Oh, we're going. Let's scare the shit out of Dream Trove. Yeah. Let's go. I did it. Yeah, I'll be back on Monday. Be back on Monday. Mondays and Fridays, 2 p.m. EST.
we never start a minute late. <laughs> At least I don't think we do. And I'll figure out what to do, and then we'll have some more fun, I guess. Thank you all so much for watching. See you next time. Bye!